Welcome back again, guys. I've had a cold recently, so I haven't been able to film too much, but I got a 2009 Tacoma today. It's running rough under load. Uh, looking at the data list, you can see that when I brake torque it, occasionally get a cylinder three misfire. When I get misfires, the first thing I like to do is current ramp the ignition coils, sometimes grab secondary ignition. Um, I still like to use secondary ignition because it, it tells more of the story. You can see uh, a lean condition from maybe a stuck fuel injector causing a misfire. You can see engine mechanical problems while looking at secondary ignition. So it's more valuable than people give the test credit for. So I'm going to hook up my Pico scope going to do uh, channel A, I'll hook up my current clamp, and channel B, I'll do secondary ignition. <clears throat> With the way these ignition coils are under, under the intake, I found the easiest place to get your current ramp is on this black wire with red tracer in the fuse block. So if you notice, every so often, you'll see a coil jump straight up. It's typical to, for that to happen when you have a ignition coil shortened. I'm looking at all six coils at the same time right now. But if I wanted to pinpoint which one it was, I would add a second channel and uh, trigger off a of channel B instead. So channel A is still hooked up to all six ignition coils. Channel B is hooked up to a secondary ignition probe that is on cylinder three. So every time cylinder three fires, I have my secondary ignition sink. So I'm able to see all six ignition coils, but I'm also able to see which coil goes to which cylinder. So now, if I just zoom in on cylinder three, I'm able to see that cylinder three is the one shorted. If I go to another cylinder, if I go to another cylinder, you don't see that straight up line from the short. You can go to another cylinder. That one is good as well. So I'm pretty certain I have a bad ignition coil. I'm gonna show you guys a little more on the secondary ignition side to compare. This is the secondary ignition waveform for cylinder one. If you look at the burn time, you can see it's good. You can see oscillations, with, which means it still has energy. The coil's firing good. Swap it over to cylinder three to show you how bad this coil is. That is cylinder three. You can tell there's no burn time, no leftover energy, uh, bad coil. So I'm just gonna swap it out and show you the fix. Gotta be very careful with these electrical connectors. They have a tendency to break. New coil in.
right, new coil installed. Doesn't seem to have any misfires. Let's go to take it for a test drive, and uh, this one's this one's done. Just want to tell you all thanks for watching and uh, like and subscribe. It will help me out, and uh, I'll see you next time. Can you shut that down just so I can film this real quick? We'll be under five minutes. I don't want little Dicky playing in the background. <laughs> yeah.